G'day, it's Pete here, and today I wanted to teach you how to play Sergeant Major. It's also known by a few other names, uh, 358, 853, or 952, which is very similar, just fits under the same category. So how do you actually play Sergeant Major? Well, it's a three-player game using a normal pack of playing cards. It's a trick slash trump uh, game. Uh, so what a trick is, is one person plays a card and everyone has to follow suit to that. So if I choose a club, everyone has to play a club if they can. So if I play the five of clubs, the next player in a clockwise direction gets to play a club. If let's say they play the 10 and then the next player plays the jack of clubs, the highest club will win with aces being higher than king, queen, jack, 10 through to two. So the jack of clubs would win in that case. If you can't follow suit because you don't have any clubs, uh, what you could do is you could throw anything away, but it wouldn't win with the exception of trumps. So let's say that hearts were trumps. If I threw away the ace of diamonds, even though that's higher than the 10 of clubs, it wouldn't win a trick. Whereas if I played the two of hearts, the two of hearts is considered better than any of the other suits. So the two of hearts would win. Now the aim of Sergeant Major is to win as many tricks as possible in general. So you want to just take as many tricks as you can. So how the structure actually works is uh, each player has a certain number of tricks they're targeting. The dealer, they're trying to go for eight tricks. Left of the dealer, they're trying to go for five. And then left of them uh, is trying to go for three. So eight, five, three. Now more than that is good, but that's just a reference number and we'll touch on that later. So what happens next is the dealer gets to nominate which trump suit they would like. So they look at their hand, they choose trumps, and then what they actually get to do is choose four cards from their hand uh, to throw away. And with this, since it's a three player game, each player had gotten 16 cards and there were four cards set aside, a kitty. And the dealer, after discarding their four cards, they get to pick up the kitty and add that to their hand. So they usually get to throw four bad cards away and they get four new cards uh, to their hand. Now, how you win at Sergeant Major is it's going to be the first player to 10 points. And how you actually win points is if you go above the nominated target that you're going for, eight for the dealer, five for the left of the dealer and three for the other one, you score one point. If you go below that target, you score minus one point per trick under. So plus one per trick over, minus one per trick under that. So you wanna be first to 10 points and making more tricks is good. Another bonus for going positive or punishment for going negative is you actually get pillaged of your good cards in subsequent rounds. So the next time we deal, the dealer moves to the left. So the player that was going for five now goes for eight. Uh, if you go above the number that you were trying to get, you went positive, you get to choose a card and pass it to uh, the opponent who went negative. And they look at that card and give you the highest ranked card they have of that suit. So if I give away the two of hearts, they might give away the king, king of hearts back to me, for example. So passing those cards can be really relevant and going positive makes it so that you've got a better chance of going positive again. Uh, also, uh, if two players are trying to pillage from the same player, because two people went positive and one went really negative, the player who's going for the higher number first actually gets to pillage first. So they would pass cards first, and then the next player would actually go. So that's how you can play Sergeant Major. I'll just give you a quick recap of it. Three players, each player gets 16 cards, and there's a four card kitty. It's a trick slash trump taking game. Uh, the dealer is targeting at least eight tricks. And remember, the more tricks, the merrier, but that's like your minimum target. Left of the dealer is targeting five, and then the other player is targeting three. Uh, if you go positive for that, you get a point for each trick above your target you get, or you go minus a point for each trick below it. And first to 10 points actually wins. If you went positive, you also get to pillage uh, cards from people who went negative. So you choose a card that you wanna pass over, usually a pretty weak card. They'll look at that card and return the highest card in that suit. Anyway, uh, let's look at some gameplay. All right, so here we are. Um, what you can see here is this player is going for eight, we're going for five, they're going for three. And they just chose spades as Trump. So there's the first one. Left of the dealer gets to lead, so I'm on lead. I might just uh, start off with some hearts. Um, so we'll go from here. And uh, when you win a trick, you get to lead to the next one. So everyone's playing hearts. I led hearts. You have to follow to a heart if you can. 
Uh, so here we get to win that cheaply. And we'll, uh, I'll just keep going with hearts. Someone can play um, a spade if they wanted to. No one chose to. So uh, no one had hearts and they both threw away diamonds so they couldn't win. If anyone plays a spade, they get an opportunity to win. No one wants to do that. I'm not sure why, but so far I'll uh, keep taking my tricks there. So then I switched to diamonds and everyone had to play diamonds when we did that. Again, uh, my jack was the highest card. We'll lead the eight and uh, now the five of spades finally got played. That was uh, a trump. So that beat my eight of diamonds. Then we'll get in and uh, I'll just lead a club. And they trumped, so that won. And now they're leading spades. I have to play a spade if I can. So at the moment, uh, I've gotten eight tricks when I was only targeting five. So I'm positive three. Uh, this player was two under and this player was one under. So next round, I'll get to take cards off them. I'll get to take one card off uh, this player and two cards off them. And I was three up, so I was positive three minus one, minus two. Now eight, five, three. So I get one card uh, to the left and I might choose a heart. That worked well. And then I get two cards uh, to my right hand opponent. So what I'm gonna do is probably choose a club and a heart. Okay, so I've got two jacks. So I know that the anything higher is in that hand. Uh, we want diamonds to be trumps, so we've done the pillaging of cards and now we'll choose trumps. And now I get to choose cards that we'll throw away. So I don't want the spade. Uh, we can throw away those two hearts and I guess just a club. I think I made my hand worse, which is kind of annoying. And they let a heart, so I get to win that with the eight of hearts. And I'll just play a diamond. This is called drawing trumps. I'm just getting rid of all their diamonds. And I started with seven. Uh, the opponents have six diamonds. So, well, had six diamonds. There's only two left. We'll just get rid of all their diamonds. One more. And now I know that this player's got the king of clubs. So we'll just lead the queen. Um, they might not have known that I had the ace. So I was trying to trick them into ducking, but uh, they didn't want to. Um, but we'll uh, take these clubs. Okay, and I'll lose this spade and then I've got the rest of the tricks. So uh, I'm gonna be positive five. So I've really ramped up here and we're closing in on a nice quick win. Um, but still need two more points and it can easily go away from here. But uh, next round I'll get two cards off uh, my right hand opponent and one card off my left hand opponent and I'll only be targeting three tricks here. And we'll be plus five. Uh, the others will both be negative. Uh, so eight points plus five for that round. And we'll see if we can get five tricks and then we'll be able to win the game. Okay, um, I got a pretty good hand. So three cards for uh, Frederick, my left-hand opponent. So we'll pass those three over there. Got some good ones. And then is it two cards to my right? And I'll just take two of those. Got Ace, King, Queen of Spades, Ace, King of Diamonds. That's all really good. I think I'm gonna manage my tricks here. Uh, they chose clubs as well, which is great news for me. And then, yeah. So I'm just gonna start taking my ace, king, queen of spades, see what happens here. I'll then move to hearts. I haven't trumped in at all there. Two tricks and then I'm done. If this wins, we've won the game. So uh, I was pretty confident on getting more than three tricks, but that's how you can play uh, Sergeant Major or 358. 853, it's known by lots of different names. Uh, they're just discarding here. I think I've realized uh, that uh, we've got this game wrapped up.
So that's how you can play it. Um, hope you enjoy uh, its game. It's a nice, uh, easy to learn game. There is um, some luck and there's also some skill involved. So it's a healthy balance. Um, you can uh, play it, uh, teach some people nice and easily. So give it a shot if you haven't. And uh, thanks all for watching. So we just get there and they'll get the, uh, ooh, eight <laughs> queen of clubs with that. Beautiful. Just the 12 tricks for me. So plus nine. Finished on 17 points. That was a resounding win. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoy this game and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.